So I found this picture and it feels like I gotta do something to save this girl. Is that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. You know you're a fish cop, right? Who are you? You wearing a wire? <gasps> What's happening, YouTube? Back in the building and look who decided to show up. Hello. Shouts out to Moochella. You figured out a show that would get my wife doing reviews again. And we are here to review the second episode of High Town. Really, really good show. And we're going to review it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe. Check out my podcast. I go live with the fellas Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. Honey, second episode was good enough that I can say I'm intrigued. The first two episodes was good. We've learned a lot about Jackie Quinones. And she is a mess. Nice. Whatever her name is. And she's a mess. To me, she's like Carrie Matheson. Only Carrie had the mental issues. She has the addiction and sex issues. Right. And this episode started out with her in her AU. Going in there to do some exercise. And she gets a in there. AA. AA. Okay. And she's going to do exercise with this big country chick right here. And while she's going in there, she's looking out the window and she sees this girl that she wants to have sex with. And what did the big country girl say? <laughs> oh, she had dibs on her. <laughs> country girl's like, uh-uh, that's mine. Don't touch it. Well, we know that this Jackie, she's a little bit of a hothead. And she decided she was going to go out there and holler at this young lady anyway. And so she did. And they got to talk. And the next thing you know, honey, here we go. All of a sudden, they doing it with each other. Mm -hmm. Did you see that one coming? Mm -hmm. You, you knew that was coming. Yeah. As a man, I don't want to hear you women complaining that all men do is gawk about women. Because that's all she did the first 10 minutes of this episode. Mm -hmm. She walked in there, looked out that window and said, Dang! And big girl said, Nah, I've been hitting on her for 10 months. You better not touch that. She touched it anyway. And later on in this episode, she got touched back. That girl had the stink face. Had to, oh, man. <laughs> then we see Junior here. He is in AU, right? No, AA. And he's talking to the inmates. Lo and behold, as he's talking to the inmates, they're done. And guess who walks over here and we find out knows him? Frank. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned last episode when he had that nail. You was wondering... Is he in on it or was he surprised this was something that his dad did? Right. How do you feel now that you see Frank is basically like, bro, you get out of this game when I tell you to get out. Yeah. So, I mean, this scene confirms that he was in on it. Mm -hmm. So, basically, he's under Frank's thumbnail. Mm -hmm. um, Frank is controlling him from the inside. Yeah. Um, and, of course, he had something to do. He, basically, he did it because he said he was a little spooked when he, when he got there and found out it was a woman. Right. Now, the right. one thing that we weren't sure, you know, thinking back was... Was he the one with... Ostia? That's not how you pronounce it. But was he the one... Was he the one with that guy who killed the girl in the first place? Yeah, well, we... We, Aceto. 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 Was he the one with the Aceto that Aceto killed him? Aceto Aste. It, we don't know. And I think it was him. Okay. Because, again, he was telling Frank how he was spooked that it was a girl. Well, well you know, I'll go back and do some digging. I'll okay. let you know. Then we get to the scene where Jackie is in the A me A A A meeting, and Big Girl is telling the therapist, look, she over here fraternizing with women. And what did that lead to? You knew this was coming. It led to a melee. They got into a fight and she got a shiner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you knew Jackie wasn't going to be able to do much with that girl. No, nah, no. Nah, uh -uh. that, girl, that girl gave her a one hit a quitter and sent her right back in there to talk to the therapist. And now that Jackie's talking to the therapist, it's coming out that her dad had some of these same um, polar behaviors. Womanizing issues. Yeah. And, yeah, cheating on her mom and that type of thing. And after we get beyond that point, we start seeing more of, for those that have seen the show, y'all are going to know why I'm about to call him Officer Saberho. His real name is Ray. But was you surprised that Ray was listening in to Frank's girlfriend, the stripper, that he's trying to get in cahoots with, but Frank wants the girlfriend to get in cahoots with Ray to basically give him information in jail. And Ray had this recording where she was doing her thing with a John. When did you know that this man was going to jack off at the desk? Oh, goodness. <laughs> when he got up and closed the shades and locked the door. <laughs> and locked the door, bring in the fofo. -fo. All you heard was, Ray, don't stroke me no more. That's what he did. <laughs> 
Then we go back to Jackie. She's leaving her AA class and she sees this, the poster that has Krista on it. Mm -hmm. And then she's starting to think, okay, they've got that same necklace on you picked up on this last episode. And from there, we learned that Jackie ain't about to let this go. Mm -hmm. she, right. she, she, she ain't about to let this go, man. She's going full in because she's seen this. So she starts trying to connect the dots. And as she's dot connecting and, re and realizing what's going on, she goes and hunts down the therapist and starts badgering the therapist for information. Right. And this is when the therapist said your favorite line. So go ahead and tell the people what your favorite line was. What is my favorite line? You're just a Marine cop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jackie <laughs> running around acting like she's a real, real deal police officer. And she basically <laughs> security guard for the seas. <laughs> And so the therapist had to remind her, you're not a police officer. Jackie said she mm -hmm. she has investigative skills. She took investigative classes. Or something, it, it, she, she took said. the classes, right. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we already knew that that dynamic was coming because Jackie, she's polar. She, she, she swings from one pendulum to the other one. One minute she's up, she's down. And she can't just... Like the therapist said, she's always finding something to try to channel energy. And save. And, right. Yeah. And so now we go back to Officer Sabaho, who we know now he is too involved in this stripper woman. He's way too involved. And you see he's stalking her on the beach. This was the scene where he was trying to get her to like, look, I want to get close to you. I want to get what you call them, I stay? Acido. Acido. And we want to put a sting on him. She's kind of like, nah, I don't know. But, you know, eventually she winds up doing it. Then we get a scene where we bounce back to Jackie, who was taken home by Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. And Eddie Murphy told her, they're going to fire you. And she's crying and complaining. But what did she expect? <laughs> literally, literally, what did she expect? Did she expect anything better there for them to be ready to fire her? I don't think so. And then from there, the sting is on for what's his name? Aceto. Aceto. Now, um, Renee is working with one of the female cops, and they're going to try to get Aceto on some drug charges. Mm -hmm. So they hop in the car with Aceto, and he knows out the gate. And I was saying through, during the show, she's talking like a cop. Mm -hmm. She kept saying, you got the drugs? You got the drugs? Uh -huh. And Aceto is looking at Renee like, don't you bring no more of these BBs in my car? Mm -hmm. And what, how did you think that was going to end, honey? What did you think? I thought he was going to go along with it and sell them. You drugs. thought he was going to go? Yeah, I did. Nah, I was, I was sitting there like, dude, dude, too smart for that. He ain't going along with that. Mm -hmm. And he kicks him out of the car and said, don't you come with nobody else again. Mm -hmm. And the whole time they was trying to get information on it, it looked like they weren't going to get it. Mm -hmm. But his dumb big butt throws out his bag of Carl's Jr.'s Hardy's whatever was eating, Mr. Trash Can, and here comes Officer Save a whole Ray to pick up his garbage, mm -hmm. and what is he going to do with that? Use it for DNA, of Golly. course. Golly. Yeah, so he's smart enough not to fall off uh, the sting that they were setting up. Right. But, you know, he wasn't smart enough to dispose of his food properly. Good Lord, Hammer. That's what he get for littering. That's exactly what he get for littering. And from that point, they go on and Jackie has found more information on the fr on Krista, the friend of Sherry that died. Mm -hmm. She's found out that she's got some friends locally, whatever. Now she's putting two and two together. Jackie still doesn't know that Ray has something to do with it. Not Ray, excuse me. Junior has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. And she's standing out there telling all her business. And you knew from jump, Junior knew what was going on. Right, because Junior's the one who killed the friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he didn't bite on that initially. So she told him that she think it might be some connection with the girl that got killed. He just kind of brushed it off and blew it off. Mm -hmm. And they went their separate ways. Right. But she opened the door for him to ask questions later. Exactly. Ultimately. Exactly. Then from there, Officer Sabaho who is starting to get more feelings for Renee, goes to the strip club and was thinking about maybe taking her home, paying for some, whatever he was going to do, until he sees, what's the guy's name? Aceto. Aceto, truck outside, and then he gets mad, gets jealous, and then he leaves. Meanwhile, Aceto is in there questioning Renee. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. And we learn more about this character that apparently he has good connections with Frank, Right. Because he's supposed to be watching over Renee, and she's just like, I don't need nobody watching over me. 
And do you remember that cockamamie scheme she came up with for why she's having to do coke again? Oh, she came up with a story quick. Yep. She came up with a story quick. I mean, the thing is, he is supposed to be quote unquote looking out for her, mm -hmm. but he he is also bending the rules a little bit because he's had he has Frank's girlfriend or baby mama giving him a lap dance in the room. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, He's a little shifty as well. Well, he, he's a bad guy. Yeah, of course. But, but apparently he still has loyalty enough to Frank. Or fear enough of fear, Frank. Fear, right, yeah. fear enough of Frank. From there, we go back to Jackie, our space case. The space case we're starting to probably have some deep ties to. She's at a bar, and she sees a MILF. You know what a MILF is, honey? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and that MILF approaches her. Next thing we know, we already knew, if you're in the bar and you Jackie get approached, you better stay away from her like you are a child with chicken pox. Because if you get close, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. They wind up in bed, Jackie smashed. The next morning, she wake up in true smoker's form, eating Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. And then they go have a, a, a nice moment. Jackie goes back and gets in the bed with the girl she just smashed. And the lady's looking at her deeply in her eyes, and she says, what are you doing today? And then Jackie asked her for a favor. Can you take me out of town to such and such? And the lady's like, no, you didn't. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't mm -hmm. just give you these nice milfy draws only for you to ask me to take you out of town somewhere. She was mad about that. And now this is the scene when we learn about Officer Saberho and why I'm calling him Officer Saberho. This young lady right here was the lady that was doing the sting with Renee. Yeah, she was the undercover police officer. She was also undercover with Ray back when he had the original girl that died, Sherry. She was doing it with him, and that's when she says, look, you are Officer Sabaho. I've worked with you. Mm -hmm. So that kind of alludes to maybe he had a sexual relationship with the girl that died. Yeah. Or this is his pattern of behavior. Yeah, so she knows he has a thing for strippers, basically, mm -hmm. trying to save him. Mm -hmm. But she also alluded to the idea that he tried to sleep with her. With right. the police, you know, her mm -hmm. as a as an undercover officer, he tried to sleep with her when he thought she was a a stripper and realize that she didn't need saving. Right, so right. She was basically calling him out and so we see he has some some demons as well. He's not the nice clean quote unquote cop mm -mm. um that we would probably think he would be in the beginning. Well I guess you would most, you really think he is right most of them a lot of people on this show have got a lot of deep twists to their personalities. Mm -hmm. And then we we see Ray go back to the strip club to meet up with Renee to just say, hey, even though that didn't work, I did find something that can help us. You need to stay close to me. And you need to tell me everything that Acido said to you. Mm -hmm. Because I'm here to protect you. Mm -hmm. I'm here to offer you protection. Uh -huh. But yeah. she ain't buy it because she said, is that what you told the, the girl who got killed? Right, right. <laughs> but the thing is, we don't know. It, to me right now, we know she's supposed to be working for Frank to get information on Ray. And she knows Ray is trying to work with her to get information on Frank. And we know Frank is emotionally tied to Renee. Mm -hmm. The thing is, where does Renee's alliances lie? Mm -hmm. Is it with Frank? Or is, is she going to try to get out the game and, and sail Frank down the river? We don't know yet. Yeah. We don't know yet. Then we see our girl Jackie. She pulls up to the friend of Krista. <laughs> and she got the milk to take her there. And when she get in this house, this house is a mess. It's like a crack house, meth house. I don't know what kind of house it is, but it's so bad that they had that girl hold the baby. You just let a complete stranger in your house. You don't know her, you ask her to hold the baby. Mm -hmm. The girl lies and says, I don't know her. I don't know Krista. But what was she wearing that let her know that she knew Krista? Oh, Krista earrings. Had yeah, Krista's picture. damn earrings, man. Right. Cause when you get your lies out there, people, can you get your lies together properly? Then her abuser, we can probably say he's an abuser the way he was talking to her and the baby. Yeah. Boyfriend comes out and is threatening, saying, are you a cop? By that point in time, Jackie is like, the kitchen too hot for me. And I don't, Jackie was looking at that baby like, like it was a foreign object to her. Like maybe she has some distaste for a child. And she hurried her hand the child back. She jumped out the house. Uh -huh. What do you think was significant about that? She didn't get any information from them mm -hmm. other than she know that that girl is lying about her relationship mm -hmm. with Krista. Well, they're going to let Krista know that somebody came looking for her, mm -hmm. came around looking for her. So that's probably going to put Krista on alert. Mm -hmm. She might go, you know, go on a run. Who knows? She might. She mm -hmm. might. So I think that's the only thing I, I can think of. If she didn't get any information, the whole point of them setting up that scene was to let... 
Krista know that somebody's coming for her. Gotcha, gotcha. Then the very last scene we're going to talk about was the last scene of this episode in which Jackie meets up with Junior. And me and Crystal sitting in here like, Jackie, can you shut your big mouth? But her and Junior are friends. They go way back. Mm -hmm. Like Cracker Jack. It goes way back. And she's confiding in him all the stuff she knows about Sherry and Crystal that she's learned from seeing this and that. And he's up there soaking it in like, yeah, let's go talk about it. Let's get on this boat in the black of night mm -hmm. and let's ride somewhere. Yeah. And then when they get off, did you see the look on his face as if he was looking back to see is anybody looking? I might kill Jackie. Right. So right. overall, what was your estimation of this episode? One second. I don't think he's going to kill Jackie, um, but I do think he basically he, just, he knows now that there's a witness. Yeah. A, a witness. Well, well, he knows that somebody knows something. Right. She's not a witness. She didn't see them kill him, mm -hmm. but she's putting two and two together more than what he wants someone to put two and two together. Mm -hmm. So how would you rate the show so far? Uh, I mean, it was a continuation from the first, mm -hmm. um, continuing to set up the story and just tying people together. Um, a reveal that Frank has a little bit more control or a little bit more um, kind of hand in what's going out on the street than we were aware of initially because he played it innocent in the beginning. Well, I felt like he had control last episode because he was controlling people in... The, he was controlling cops in the jail cell. I knew yeah. he had power. Yeah, but we didn't know if he had any hand in the person that was killed. Right, right, right. Um, so... And, and with us knowing that he had a hand in that, we also can therefore say that we know that he knows Officer Ray is has hands dirty hands too mm -hmm. because ray didn't know that frank knew that he had flipped that girl to being a ci he didn't mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. but frank knows all this about ray which is why he's sicking his own girlfriend right. and baby mother on ray and maybe he does know ray is weak for the panty draws mm -hmm. now do you think the father of junior knows that junior has something to do with that girl getting killed now see now that's what we don't know now because uh -huh. in the beginning we thought it was all the father uh -huh. that you know the father was in cahoots with something and the way junior was looking at that nail had us thinking okay dad what happened now i'm looking at like okay maybe he's supposed to have cleaned the boat and found the nail and is worried maybe dad found something you know that right. could tie him up in trouble and start asking him questions yeah. so Folks, this is a good story, man. Everybody has got some twisted stuff going on in their personal lives that we know at some point in time is going to climax and explode. Lots of explosions. So mm -hmm. I would say if you haven't started watching it, give it a try. We'll be bringing you guys these Sunday reviews, and that's going to do it for this video. Any parting words you want to say, honey? No, I'm just waiting on the next one. I'm used to binging TV shows right now, so... Uh... It's a, a little annoying to have to wait week after week for the next episode to come yeah. out, but I'll be patient. Show is good. Anything you want to say, Elle? No, she's sleep. Elle, you don't want to say nothing? No, she's sleep. You don't want to kick mama in the stomach uh, for talking for you? Oh. See y'all later. Until the next Sex is Hell video, we'll see you. <laughs>